So I am a self-proclaimed nerd. Uh, my entire life has been fixation after fixation on several different things, and it just keeps going. I don't know if it'll ever stop. Hopefully it doesn't because it keeps me entertained. Um, and cosplay is one of those things that I just, I, I feel like it just happened. I don't even remember where I saw it, when I found it, but it just happened. And I I fell in love, basically. Um I my first cosplay was when I was 12 or 13. I went to an anime convention as a, a, an anime character, um, Toru Honda from Fruits Basket. And it hasn't been consistent since then, but just on and off for years and years, I've done cosplay. And I think over the pandemic, I kind of reevaluated a lot. And that included like, what do I like doing? And cosplay just happened to be one of those things that I revisited and uh, I haven't looked back. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so I think my Lady Loki one is always going to be kind of near and dear to my heart because that was my first one coming back into the community after so long. Um, and I just had a lot of fun with it. You know, it was... It, 2021 so it was the first convention I went to since before the pandemic uh, and it was New York Comic Con and I just got to like immerse myself completely in the community again and I think that one for sure is just always going to be probably my favorite favorite Yeah. So acting was another one of those things where I just kind of, when I was a kid, you, when you're a kid, you always get that question like, oh, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I think for a lot of kids, you you grow up, or at least when you're young, you're like, oh, I want to be like a singer. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be an actor. I just, I want to be famous. And I was definitely one of those kids where I was like, oh, I want to, I want to be a singer. I want to grow up and I want to like entertain people. Um, and usually that goes away and other like kids get different aspirations or you get to be like a teacher, um, a doctor, things that are more uh, within grasp. <laughs> but that just never happened for me. I I entered the workforce like everybody else. Um, and I went into corporate America. And I think it was the same thing just during the pandemic. I I reevaluated things. And that was another part of my life where I'm like, wow, I really don't like what I'm doing. So I quit <laughs> and just dove headfirst into what I want to do. Um, and that's just been a journey for me my whole life. You know, I went, I did theater when I was a kid. I did theater in, in up until high school. And I, it's just a passion for me that it kind of goes hand in hand with cosplay for me where it's, the ability to put your creative mind into something and almost become something that you're not. That's such a cool feeling for me. Oh my gosh, just do it. I feel like there's so many people that I've met who not in, in like Instagram or anything, but just in real life face to face where I've told them that, oh, like I do cosplay and nine times out of 10, I get like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I've always wanted to do it. And the only thing I can ever say is just do it. You know, I think a lot of people get worried about, well, who can I be? What can I pull off? Um, do I have to make it? Where do I buy things? And I feel like a lot of those things are things you figure out along the way. But starting off with like, who do you love? What do you connect with? And just go for it. Because I feel a lot of my cosplays start from that, that who do you love? Because ultimately at the end of the day at a convention, like I'm just a representation of someone that I think is so cool that I wish I was them. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with like Middle Earth. Specifically, I really just want to be an elf in Rivendell. That's just a dream of mine. I just think it's 
it's so pretty and beautiful and sure there's orcs in the world and lots of evil um but that's not my problem <laughs> right. 